What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today we're talking about a critical update Facebook is about to release onto the platform, right? And this is very, very important to a lot of people. A lot of people are freaking out, but it's not actually that bad just yet. Um, so we're going to talk about that in this video. And it actually kind of just dawned on me, maybe I should do videos like this often because I never really look for updates. I miss a lot of Facebook updates, Google updates, YouTube updates, because a lot of them just fly under the radar and Facebook pushes them out and no one really talks about them. But this one's kind of blowing up. And I thought if you guys want, I'm really going to start getting more active on YouTube soon, at least three videos a week. If you guys want me to do like a video where I talk about the latest news on Facebook, Shopify, Instagram, whatever, um, give this video a thumbs up because that's what I'll start doing. Because I, I feel that, because this is how I found out about this, I'll show you who showed me in a second. But I feel that it's very important to keep up with the latest updates that all of these platforms are pushing out because they're doing it all the time, sometimes like weekly. Um, so yeah, it's very, very important to know this stuff. So if you guys want, want more videos like this where I go in depth and go over updates that these platforms are bringing out, leave me a like below and that's what I'll start doing as well and add it into my content. So this morning, my boys, Miles Bickler, check him out. He's got a pretty cool, cool channel. Very, very, very good content, guys. Posted this video about the Facebook update that's coming out. I think he's pretty much the first one that posted about it on YouTube. So it's kind of blowing up right now. I took the video, posted it in my group, which you guys can join. There'll be a link below. This is our private group, over 30,000 members, 36,000 members now. I posted it in the group and everyone's kind of like, oh, this is bad and, you know, it, it sucks and and all this sort of stuff. So what it is, guys, and I'm very heavily involved in this, this, this affects me very, very, um, this affects me a lot, is Facebook's pretty much going out there and saying you can't ask people to do things like share, tag their friends, like this post and things like that. You can't force someone to do something now or bait them into doing something. Now this is a huge change because I do this a lot. If you guys don't know, one of my secrets to building huge email lists, I have um, I have probably all up over 200,000 people with my Shopify store, my affiliate marketing stuff, um, fitness um, email list. Just my um, internet marketing is over 80,000 alone. And most of it's built up from doing competitions on Facebook and saying, hey, tag, these are the steps for the competition. Tag your friend, share the post, like the post, click to this URL and go and put in your email. Now I can still do this stuff, but I can only really do the click to URL and put in your email because that's that's the, that's the that's what I want is their emails. I can't go out and ask them for votes and stuff anymore. So what does this mean to you guys? First of all, We'll kind of go through it. So basically, you can't ask people to do stuff. All right. So like we've got some examples here. Uh, vote baiting. You can't ask people to vote, which got, it's kind of like, I don't know what Facebook's trying to do here because first of all, news sites, very reputable, reputable news sites do this stuff all the time. It's very, very good for their business. They make a lot of money. Legitimate businesses do legitimate competitions all the time. My girlfriend enters competitions consistently every single day. Um, so I don't know what Facebook's trying to do. What I think, like, they're basically just trying to control the reach because they don't want us getting reach. They want us to pay for the reach. So Facebook is saying that they did some sort of survey and um, their, their users are finding that it's spammy. And of course, there is spammy stuff. People are doing it in a spammy way. But I don't think it's fair. I'm, I'm hoping Facebook can um, determine news like legit news sites and companies and maybe not penalize them as much. But I don't know if they're going to be able to do that. So basically, this is a money game for Facebook. They're losing money because people are manipulating the system by getting free reach at really, really cheap cost. When I was doing this... Um, for my competitions, guys, I was getting leads at like 20 cents, 80 cents, 60 cents. I still do it today. Some of you guys have probably seen some of my ads around. Um, and that's what Facebook doesn't like. We're getting, we're basically manipulating the system to get cheap results, okay? And that's what, that's what Facebook doesn't want to see. But it's going to affect legitimate things like news sites that do the vote for this, vote for that, and legitimate big companies that do legitimate competitions. Now, what does this mean for you guys? First of all, Facebook at this stage is not going to ban your accounts, okay? They're basically just going to um, give that post less reach, which sucks, um, which is, you know, that's obviously a big effect. 
But second, the long-term effect at this point is if the person keeps doing it, their Facebook page will drop significantly in um, reach. Now, we don't know if that's paid reach or organic reach. If that's organic reach, who cares? Because Facebook doesn't even give you any organic reach anyway. They killed that years ago. So if that is going to go a significant drops in organic reach, who cares? I'll probably still keep doing it. If they're going to give us um, drops in, in significant reach with paid advertising, um, which is what they're saying they'll do on the post, but if they do it on the Facebook page, then I'll probably stop doing it. Are they going to ban us? We don't know. Um, at this point, they I don't think, don't quote me on this, but I don't think they've confirmed this yet that they're going to be banning people. Uh, it would make no sense for them to be banning people because news sites will still do this. Um, a lot of people will still do this. They're not. They're either not going to care about this or they simply won't even know that this exists um, because not everyone reads about Facebook updates. Now, Shopify. Um, I'm trying. I, I like to change the screen, guys, because I don't want you. Um, I don't want you like seeing the same stuff over and over again. But we don't have much content to show here. Shopify. It's going to affect your ads if you do. Like people are like, oh, but what if I do this and this? Don't try and get around Facebook on this because. They're not playing around. Um, last time they did some reach crap, it messed up a lot of stuff for people. So like if, I like this if, share if you, vote to, tag a friend who, all of this stuff, like you see it right here, Facebook doesn't want to see. So if you do something like, hey, we've got 50% off this dog necklace, share it with a friend, tag your friend, tag your pet buddy, tag a friend who you would love to purchase this for you or something, or tag a friend you would like to purchase this for, all of that stuff, guys, you're not going to be able to do um, from now on. I think in a week's time, they're going to bring it in. Okay. Now, is it going to affect you? I don't know, right? You might be able to get away with it. Because the thing is, guys, Facebook is not that good either. So, you know, they've got this thing where you can't have a lot of text on your ads. Some of my best performing ads have a lot of text on them and they break the text rules. Um, and I know a couple of other marketers who do the same. So is this going to really take effect? Is it going to really affect a lot of people? Don't know. Okay, I really don't know. But I think that unless they um, unless they bring in a ban, it's it's not that bad because as long as your ad can still get reach, and it's not you're not getting affected, and your ad's still making money, then why not keep doing it? Unless they specifically put a ban in place, if you do it, and they say that they, that they can ban you then there's, you might as well just keep doing it. But then again, maybe you shouldn't. I don't know. All right. And they have said that um, they can read text on images as well. So you can't do it in images. Uh, some people are like, oh, I can get around it by doing images. I don't know. Maybe, but I don't think so. And um, video, I don't know. You probably can still mention it in video. I don't know if they can um, scan voice yet or anything like that. So my opinion, guys, is basically if you're worried stop um, like tomorrow, next week. They said they're going to gradually bring it in. Like they're not going to just go instantly smash everyone. But um, it's really up to you because it's this isn't too bad just yet, like I've mentioned. Um, it's basically the exact same thing as having the too much text on the screen. It's the, the, the basically the same penalty, okay? Lower reach on your ads. And if you keep doing it, lower reach on your page. But... I've had my most success with ads, especially retargeting, with ads that have a lot of text on them and I break the rules and my accounts are fine. Okay, so it's kind of the same as that, I think. Um, but I just wanted to bring this to your attention to first off, not worry too much. Maybe we'll just go over a couple of questions in here, guys, to you know give you a bit of content here. Um, don't worry too much about it. Um, what... What to do instead of um, to avoid harming your reach. Basically, guys, if you think it's going to harm your, like, just run the ads and you just see if it's harming your reach. Okay. If it is, stop it. If it's not, you can keep going. Right. That's pretty much it. Um, is it good or bad for a newbie? Really depends, um, I suppose. Um, let's have a look here. I'm just trying to find um, what organic reach. Yeah, it's so hard to get organic reach on Facebook, guys. That's why I'm not too worried. Like, organic reach died a long time ago. Um, I mean, we use it, but uh, we get it. I get it on my competitions, but it's not like that that important. Um, 
Would it affect the current ads? Probably, guys, you would have to change the ads, but I would just recommend monitoring the ads and see what's going to happen, all right? Just monitor them, see what's up, see what's if you're getting um, more cost per click or cost per purchase and things like that or lower reach. Um, same uh, problem with Instagram. Instagram's just like had... See, Instagram's starting to get into the less reach, guys. If you want to build Instagram accounts, do it now. It's not as bad as Facebook yet. Um, can you write, would you wear this? Do you want one without having to use words like share, share, tag? We don't know yet. Um, Facebook hasn't really clarified exactly what words um, we're allowed to use and we're not allowed to use. Um, they've told us kind of, you know, that basically it's given us a general idea of you can't do it. Uh, you're not supposed to do it. And that's it, guys. That's all the questions. So, yeah, just a quick video, guys. If you're interested in more kind of news videos like this, maybe when I, I do like a weekly video where I bring out all the updates online and and to save you going through blogs to keep you up to date because platforms are consistently changing. Now, this is a really, really big up. This is a really, really big update. Um, and it might affect you a lot or it might not affect you. Um, I suspect Facebook will be pushing hard on this. Um in the long run just because it is a pretty big loophole like you know with the text stuff on the images the other one where you get lower reach it's not that bad because you can't you can't really manipulate people to do actions um this you can so they will crack down on this probably heavy in the long run but they have said might be on here that they're going to gradually move into it and just you know give it oh yeah so they're going to give us a few weeks to adapt uh, gradually move into it and things like that. They might just hit us hard. They might not. But the best way, guys, like right now, I'm just finish this video off of right now, they haven't said they're going to ban accounts. So your best bet is to just do what you're doing and just see if it affects your ads on a case-by-case -case basis. Okay? Unless they come out and specifically say we're going to ban accounts with this, then it's not that bad yet. Okay? Yet. Because they might do that. I don't know. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Go and check out the links below. I'll leave a link for my boy, Miles, and I'll leave a link for our private Facebook group that's massive, and we talk about all sorts of cool stuff in here, and I'll see you guys in the next video.